These are carbonized pomegranates that were carbonized in the eruption. As you can see, they are very, very well preserved. You can make out the skin of the pomegranate, right? As if it was new but blackened. The pomegranates are evidence that the villa's owner runs a lucrative export business. But this is a truly revolutionary discovery for a different reason. For centuries, historians believe the eruption of Vesuvius is in August of 79 CE because of the date reported in Pliny's eyewitness account. Since pomegranates are a fall fruit, this could not have been picked in August. It's very clear that this has to have been October. The eruption of Vesuvius has been closely investigated ever since the chance discovery of Pompeii nearly 300 years ago. Here at Aplantis, it is still giving up its secrets today. Further evidence reveals that the villa's owner exports more than just raw fruit. This was a massive industrial operation for bottling wine. And this is wine in the amounts that were going to go all over the Roman world. At the time, the city of Rome alone tops one million people. It's estimated the Roman citizens drink more than 26 million gallons of wine here every year. Well, we have about 70 amphora still stacked here. This is only a fraction of a much, much larger operation where we had amphora stretching all the way back here, all the way on this side, all the way on the opposite side of the colonnade. And there were 1,431 of these. So this is a huge, massive operation, very successful business. They were in full swing at the time of the eruption. Most of the amphorae have now been moved into storage rooms, where they are cataloged and further analyzed. They reveal more clues to the technology in use here. When we're first analyzing an amphora, we can also tell a lot from evidence of what was inside, organic material, for example. We can see inside the neck of this amphora, this dark brown residue that is from the pine pitch that was used to waterproof it. The discovery of the pine pitch reveals the Roman winemakers are surprisingly sophisticated in their packing. But it also reveals that Roman wine has a strange taste. Pine resin gives a very strong gasoline flavor to the wine. And we don't think the Romans cared that much about it, although they seemed to care more about what it looked like. Uh, so they did various things to make wine look older than it was, uh, like adding lentils to it to turn white wine to a darker, tawny yellow. Uh, they would smoke wine, again, to have that aged feeling to it. Um, but in terms of taste, this wouldn't have been very good. 